Good evening, everyone. Switch on again. So let's start off. This was the last thing that we did. Yeah, I know in the, I think exam paper, there are two to three things where there is an error. I will do the correction. I know that. So don't worry about it. Let's go ahead. Hey, there was some kind of thing here. I just brought a new monitor. So there is an update. Yeah, right. Yep. So last thing uh, was what? This one. Perfect. Let's go ahead. So last class, we started moving things. Let's start off with the problem. So there we have five blocks here, five M, four M, three M, two M, and then you are applying force F here and you're applying two F here and F here. Find the acceleration. and normal reaction between four M and three M, two M and M, uh, two M and three M. If the blocks are touching each other, there'll be normal reaction between them. So find the acceleration of the system and the normal reaction between four M and three M and three M and two M. Let's get this. Remember the steps last class I brought you? Step one, choose your system, draw an FVD. Step two, assign accelerations and find the relation between them using constraints. Step three, resolve forces along X and Y axis. Step four, apply a physical dime and solve. The steps are the same, nothing changes. Mm, right, Ahana, acceleration is easy. Let's get the normal reaction. Try, I'll give you a minute and then I'll show you. Um, F by five, I like, yeah. Uh, that looks wrong, Rivihan. Let's see. Step one, choose your system and uh, find the acceleration. I will take the whole thing as one system. 
because all are going together, right? I can take the whole thing as one system. Acceleration is A. So your neck force 2F minus F is equal to mass into acceleration. Be careful, forces on the body, acceleration outside. I get acceleration is equal to total mass is how much? 15M into A. The acceleration is F by 15M. Now, this thing I told you last time, you want to tension find somewhere what to do, you cut it there. So you want to find tension between 4M and 3M, now cut it here. Now when you cut it, you'll get two pieces. You can take the left piece or the right piece. I can take anyone, I will take the left piece. So this is 5M, this is 4M, this is 2F. This would be the normal reaction between 3 and 4, I'll write N3, 4 and acceleration. Again, net force is equal to mass into acceleration. So 2F, remember right positive, left negative. And what is the force now? 9M mass into acceleration. So this is 2F minus N3, 4 is equal to 9M and F by 15M. This would be 3F by 5. So N3, 4 would be 5 to 10 minus 3, 7F by 5. Check. Ah, Puruja, you got it. You could have just simplified it a bit. Same thing. You won't find a normal reaction between M and uh, 2M and 3M. Again, cut it here. Wherever you want to find normal reaction or tension, cut it there. Now, again, I'll get two parts. I will take the right piece. You could have taken any piece. Answer would be same. 2M and M. And this would be the reaction between them. N3, 2, which is F. And this is acceleration. N3, 2 minus F is equal to 3M into A. So N32 is F plus F by 5, 6F by 5. Please check your answers. Is this making sense, everyone, how to get the normal reaction? So wherever you want to find, cut it there. Whenever you cut, you'll always get two pieces. Choose any one piece. Have a look at this. Ask me if you're confused. Sure, everyone. Next one. All clear with this? Ojas, Shutia, Surya, clear? Perfect. Let's see the next one. It's a train and there are 100 blocks. Think of like this, you know, it's a train ka compartment. There are 100 things linked by strings. So here are 100 blocks. Hundred identical blocks connected by strings. Is pulled by F. Find tension between 60th and 61st block. The numbering starts from the right side, okay? 1, 2, this is 100, 99, 98, one is the first block. The engine ka first block is 1 and so on. Find that tension between the 60th and the 61st block.
500. Hmm. Let's see. Take the whole thing as one system. You got acceleration F is equal to 100. So when you take that 60th block and the 61st block, You want to find tension there, what to do? Cut it. That is the story every time. Now you get a left piece and a right piece. I can just replace whole of this thing with two blocks where this mass will be 60M and this mass will be 40M. Does that make sense? So that 100 is just to scare you. So cut it here. So I will take any one piece here. So this will be 40M. This will be tension and this will be acceleration. T is equal to 40 MA and that would be 2F by 5. Easy? You got to take in the right piece also. You want to take the right piece, then this would be F, 60M, and this would be T, and this is acceleration. F minus T is equal to 60 MA. That would be 6F by 10. So TF would be 4F by 10 or 2F by 5. It doesn't matter which piece you take, you get the same answer. Have a look at this. Clear, everyone? Clear? Any doubts on this? Perfect. Next one. We have two blocks here. 3 kg. In the middle, we have a 2 kg car rope. This is a 5 kg block. There is a gravity also G. You are applying a force F is equal to 200 Newtons. A is the topmost point of the rope. B is the midpoint of the rope. And C is the bottommost point of the rope. Find acceleration of the system and tension at ABC. B is the midpoint of the rope. A and C are the upper and the lower end of the rope. Hmm. Let's get this. Get the tensions. <clears throat> acceleration right down no, that is right get the tension that's the main thing
नहीं आ रही है सोलिस मिस रॉन्ग ग्रेविटी है आई होप डोंट फॉरगेट दैट <laughs> there is no acceleration only interesting right ishan acceleration is 10 everyone acceleration 10 aayega gods yeah get the tensions Let's see. Let's first get the acceleration part. Take the whole thing as a system. All are going together. So what is the net weight acting downward? Five plus three ten. Hundred g. That is thousand newtons. Ten g. So the whole thing will act like a ten kg block. Net force. A positive down negative F minus hundred is equal to mass into acceleration. What is mass? Ten into acceleration. So this is two hundred minus hundred is equal to ten a. A is equal to ten meter per second square. Keep it as simple as possible. Don't use any high five weird concepts. Net force, a positive down negative is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass is how much? Ten kg. You can treat the whole thing as a ten kg block. Next thing you want to find tension where at A. So what to do? Cut it at A. You'll get two pieces, upper and lower. I can take any one. I will take the upper one. Three kg block. So what are the forces acting? Two hundred. Your own weight thirty three g. The tension at A T A. And don't forget you're accelerating up it ten meter per second square. Remember forces on the body, accelerations outside. Net force is mass into acceleration. What is the net force? Up positive, down negative. Same convention. Nothing is changed. Two hundred minus thirty minus T A is equal to what is the mass now? You are talking about a three kg block. Ten mat lena. What is your system? Three kg block. So total mass is three into acceleration is ten. So tension at A would be one sixty newtons. Have a look at the steps. No wait. One forty. One forty newtons. What to do for B? Now B is the midpoint of the rope, and the rope ka mass is two kg. So when you drop B ka FBD, you have to include a one kg ka rope also, everyone. There is a one kg rope, and there is a three kg block here. So this whole thing is acting like four kg ka mass. So this is two hundred. Your weight will be forty, tension will be T B, acceleration will be A. You'll get two hundred minus forty minus T B is equal to four into A. T B would be one twenty. I'm going to drive B D for C, the last piece. Five kg. This is T C. This is fifty, and this is acceleration. T C minus fifty is equal to five into ten. Check. So the midpoint of the rope ka funda is that the concept is you have to take the midpoint mass. So there's a one kg mass also. If you didn't include that one kg one kg mass, you will get a mistake. It's a two kg rope. Please have a look at the steps. I did nothing new. Choose your system. Draw an FBD. Write forces equations and so. On. Anyone not clear with any particular step here? Please ask. Clear. Next one.
नेक्स्ट वन we have a uniform rope here and someone is pulling it it's a uniform rope of masin and lentil this is 2f and this is a same rope so i want you to find tension at a distance x from the right hand side so from the right hand side at a distance x what will be the tension in the rope let's get that The process is still the same. Wherever you want to find tension, cut it there. Draw the FPD and solve. Yeah. But in the A part, uh, on the left hand side, it's fixed, right? <laughs> it's a smooth surface, right? Why do you think it is fixed? Where did I mention it is fixed? Fixed to what? The wall is fixed. The wall is fixed. The wall is fixed. The wall is fixed. वॉल नहीं है फ्री टू मूव F is minus M A X Y L. God, what is A X? What is? Give me answers in something which you know. You just can't write answers in anything. Anshahana, that is wrong. Vihan, that is wrong. How do you check your answer? Simple logic, देखो. When I put X is equal to zero, it means where are you? You're here. When I put X is equal to zero, you're on the right end. So tension कितना होना चाहिए? F ना. So in your answer, when you're putting x is equal to zero, are you getting f? Hmm, right there much. Get the second one also. Second one, maybe mass or length, hai na sir. सेम रोप रे एंड बी क्वेश्चन का पार्ट्स देखो मींस मीन इट इज सेम क्वेश्चन यू टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज सो डिफरेंट अबाउट द सेकंड वन शो यू द फर्स्ट वन सी लिसन केयरफुली हाउ डू द फर्स्ट वन This is F. This is acceleration. So F is equal to m a. Acceleration is F by m. You want tension here? Cut it here. You'll get two pieces: right piece and left piece. I will take the right piece. What are the forces? F. 
tension. Now remember, because you're cutting it, mass will not remain same. Mass will be small m. Now I can use unitary method for total length L, mass is capital M. For length X, the mass is small m. So small m is nothing but total mass by total length into X. The mass has changed when you cut it. That was a catch in the question. And you're accelerating this way. So what are the forces? F minus T is the small mass M into acceleration. F minus T, this would be M by L into X and acceleration is F by M. M and M will cancel. So tension would be F into one minus X by L. There, that's the idea there. So the main idea is when you're cutting somewhere, mass will change. So you have to include that uh, mass cutting. That was our game. I hope that you got the idea now. Can you do the B part? So in the B part, everything looks same, except I kept two forces, not two F and F. Two F minus right there. Try, try others, I'll give you a minute. It won't be the same answer. See. Acceleration A. 2F minus F is MA. Acceleration is F by M. Take any one piece. I will take the right one because I already know the mass. This will be 2F. This will be tension. This will be acceleration. This will be small m. Just because the net force is same doesn't mean tension is same. This is M into A. 2F minus T, this is M by LX into acceleration is F by M. This will be F into 2 minus X by L. Check. That is your tension as function of X. Clear everyone? Next one. Any doubts on this, please ask me. Next one. We have two wedges here, M. This is theta, this is theta. This is 2F and this is F. You're pushing from both the sides. Find normal reaction between them. Ground is smooth. You're getting, they're touching each other. Right? I just kept a small gap for you to understand. Find normal reaction between them. That is the one part. Second thing, find the F maximum F. If blocks don't slide over each other. Meaning, if you apply too much force, there is a possibility
that it can become like this. Does this make sense? If you apply too much force, there is a chance this will start climbing the other block. I don't want this to happen. So what is the maximum force you can apply so that this doesn't happen? This is what you mean by sliding over. This thing, because it's a wedge, right? This will start climbing on top of it. Is the question clear, everyone? Any answers? Normal reaction is uh, Vihan, you are right. Purvaja, you are wrong. Any other answers? We have one right answer. Hmm. Nee, Shana, you got that wrong. Okay, let's see. Step one, choose a system, draw an FBD. No matter what problem I give, the story is always the same. Acceleration would be A. So this would be 2F minus F is equal to 3MA. So I get the acceleration F by 3M. Choose any one. I'll choose the right one. What are the forces acting on this? This would be the normal reaction. This is theta. This is theta. This is 90. So this is 90 minus theta and this is theta. So if you look at the components, this would be n cos 90 minus theta, which is n sine theta. This would be n cos theta. This thing has its own weight mg. This would be the normal reaction on the ground. And this will be F here. If you have taken the right one, the normal reaction here will be like this. This will be n ground. Uh, yeah, that and m2 mg will be this thing. These would be the forces. Check whether you messed up the FBD or what. Now, in the horizontal direction, the acceleration is still A. Don't forget that. So who is pushing it? N sine theta minus F is equal to mass into acceleration. So N sine theta, this is F and MA will be F by 3. 
So n will be four f by three sine theta. And similarly, n ground would be mg. If you see in the vertical direction, ng plus n cos theta minus mg is zero. Vertically, there is no acceleration. So n on the ground would be mg minus n cos theta, which would be mg minus four f by three cot theta. Now, since you don't want it to lift over, means what? The normal reaction should be. So if it loses contact here, what will happen? This normal reaction on the ground will be zero since it loses contact. So here, since it doesn't lose contact, means you're touching the ground. Normal reaction must be greater than or equal to zero. So mg minus four f by three cot theta must be greater than or equal to zero. So f must be less than or equal to three mg by four cot theta. You can send it up and make it tan theta. Check. Now for people who have taken the right piece, the forces would be like this: two f. This component would be n sine theta. So your equation should be two f minus n sine theta is equal to two m into a. Check whether you wrote that equation. If you had got the same equation, you would get the same answer. If you goofed up the equation, then must have gone. So check where it went wrong. So if you take the right one, this is the horizontal equation. If you take the left one, this is the horizontal equation. Two f minus n sine theta is equal to two m a, because left comma is two m. Please check the steps. It's a good one, especially the second part, like you know, where find the minimum maximum force so that it won't lift off. Because if it lifts off, if it starts climbing over it, the it will lose contact with the ground. So n g will become zero since it is touching n g is greater than or equal to zero. All clear with this? Anyone not convinced with any particular step? Yeah, next one. Any doubts on this? Perfect. Next one. We got a table here. We have a block here. Two M. This is a smooth table. So initially blocks are held at rest. Find acceleration the moment they're released. Find acceleration of both the blocks at the instant when they're released. I hope the question is clear. Try, try, try. Just give it a try. Again, nothing new. Choose your system, draw the FBDs, assign your accelerations, find relation between them. Choose your X and Y axis and resolve the forces and accelerations. Step four, apply net force is equal to the mass into acceleration along X axis and Y axis and so on. There is nothing new, any problem, every problem in this chapter, friction, circular motion, all this chapter, this is the idea. Just give it a try. I'll get some water in the house.
Okay. Arya, you need to learn something, right? I this thing I keep telling you, you can't give me answers in something which you have chosen. Do you know T? Agar esa hi karna na, see what I will do, Arya. That is even much better than this. Let the acceleration be a one. Let the acceleration be a two. Okay, na question is done. Answer is a one and a two. That is much easier, right? <laughs> Now listen, people. I have an idea. What are the forces? Tension, components, T cos theta. So T cos theta is equal to two ma. Tension, mg. So T is equal to mg. I'll substitute here. So mg cos theta is equal to two ma. A is equal to g by two cos theta. What do you guys think? This is a blunder. Why? This is a blunder. Anyone? Why is this a blunder? The string is moving with an acceleration of a, but the block two m is not. No. Nah. What else? Why is this a blunder? Anyone? If you say the block is going with acceleration, shouldn't this block also go down? Then how can you write t is equal to mg? It should be t minus mg is equal to ma, right? Tension is not equal to mg. How do we solve? Mm, t gone to mg. Yeah, a is not zero. Step one: Choose a system and draw your FBD. There are two bodies here. So tension, mg. Tension, components will be T cos theta, T sine theta. I'm only interested in the horizontal. S and accelerations. Let this be a one. Let this be a two. Find relation between them using constraints. Now be careful here. You can clearly see the power method. T into T cos theta into V two minus T into V one is equal to zero. Tension into velocity. So we get V one is equal to V two cos theta. Differentiate with time. You cannot use the acceleration curve formula directly if theta is changing. If you differentiate this, you end up with dV one by dt. dV two cos theta dV two by dt. Plus v two d cos theta by d t, but luckily, initially you are asking at the initial instant v two is zero initially. So if you have not realized this, still luckily would have got an answer. So this would be a one is equal to a two cos theta. Both the blocks do not have same acceleration. Step three: apply the forces and write the equations. So we get t cos theta is equal to mass two m into acceleration a two. This block acceleration t minus mg is equal to mass into acceleration minus a one up positive down negative. I'm keeping the convention simple and straightforward. So take t from here. This would be two m a two. How much? A two is a one by cos theta by cos theta. So this will become cos square theta. Take this and substitute here. Two m a one cos square theta plus m a one is equal to m g a one is equal to g cos square theta by two plus cos square theta. That's your answer. A one I get a two be a jayega. Do have a look at the steps. Again, I didn't teach you anything new. The same steps. Choose the system, draw the FBD, assign accelerations, and find relation between them. Here, if the velocities are given, if that's said, then the block said velocity, they would have died. This would have a big mess up the second differential. Because that that is the reason of mentioning the word instantly, initially addressed. So the velocities are zero. Luckily, this term became zero. The d cos theta by dt calculate करने का जरूरत नहीं पड़ा. 
do you guys remember that when theta changes acceleration will come pretty weird please have a look at this this problem looks pretty innocent it's a proper assassin types most people do that mistake they t is equal to mg and then finish off and unfortunately the answer will be there clear with us any doubts anyone not convinced with this please ask taksha jainil clear with us ojas surya got this behan got your mistake next one next one any doubts clear we have a pulley here we have block m1 we have block m2 this is called an atwood machine so sometimes you will hear this word in an atwood machine it is simply a pulley and two blocks standard question find acceleration and tension in the strings yeah this was straightforward <clears throat> standard result you must have remembered it you can remember the result it's a good one so i don't know which one is bigger so i'll assume anything so let's say this is tension t this is t this is m1 g and this is m2 g so i will assume m1 is greater so i'll take it as down and up it doesn't matter the science will take care of it write the forces T minus m1 g is equal to m1 into minus a. T minus m2 g is equal to m2 into a. I subtract them. Tension will cancel off. You will get acceleration is equal to m1 minus tension is equal to m2 minus m1 by m2 plus m1 into g. Now, if M1 is actually less than M2, the signs will reverse and automatically it will come. And tension would be to M1, M2 by M1 plus M2 into G. It's a standard one. Now, but more than this, the better part is you can do something with this. We can... Manipulated mathematical equation here. So if you observe one thing, when you want to find acceleration, tension is anyway cancelling out. So look at this idea here. Listen, this is something I realized when solving questions. I call this thing net force method.
So as long as I keep the equations mathematically same, Max doesn't care how is the diagram is, isn't it? So my suggestion is, let's make it straight. So this guy, and if I assume acceleration is like this, now it looks like it is going this way. It looks like M2G is pulling here and looks like M1G is opposing here. Does this make sense? You made the whole thing like a straight line. So basically you're treating this curve like an x-axis. It's a curved x-axis. The reason I can do this is because anyway, tension is going to cancel out. It doesn't matter here. Now, if you write the forces, what do you get? M2G minus M1G will be total mass M1 plus M2 into acceleration. There. So we can do this thing. So I can write acceleration would be in net force along the string. Now, this is not an official thing. It works. We are manipulating the mathematical equation. So you take the net force along the string by total mass. Meaning Max will say this and this are identical. As far as the answer is concerned, the equations are considered. Let me show a few more examples. It will become, this method becomes quite useful when there are more blocks. But there's a problem again. This works only valid only if all blocks have same magnitude of acceleration. Direction is fine. They should have same magnitude. See, logic here, na? I'm able to take out A common from the equations, right? Because A is same. That was the idea there. If all blocks have same magnitude of acceleration, Have a look at this. Let me show you more examples. Got a rough idea, right? How it is looking. Let's see an example. So let's say we have a block here, 2M. And this is M. So first thing, what are the forces? This is MG. What is the acceleration? Down. So this is also down. Now I need to take forces along the string. If you look at here, this weight 2MG is there, but it is acting perpendicularly means that 2MG is not helping you to move at all. So therefore acceleration would be net force along the string. So you should take all the forces which are parallel to the string. By total mass. So here the force is mg. That is only one. 2 mg is doing nothing. And the total mass is 2m plus m. g by 3. Suppose if you have something like this. Theta one, theta two, M one, M two. Again, idea is the same. So this is the string, isn't it? So you should take everything in this direction. What are the forces? M two G sine theta two sine ka component. I'll assume this guy is bigger, so I'll put A down. So this has to go A up and this has to be M1G sine theta one. Now applying the formula, look at this. Again, listen carefully here. Is M2G sine theta two helping A or opposing A? Helping, right? Same direction, so it's plus. What is M1G sine theta? It is opposing A, isn't it? It is slowing it down, so minus. So this is the net force. So this total force is acting on the two blocks, M1 plus M2. Done, you get the answer. Is this making sense here, everyone? Maybe the system would more download only external force or acceleration is provided. I have no idea what you're talking. 
आर्यन विच फोर्स यू टॉकिंग अबाउट हे ना ग्रेविटी एम जी नहीं सर बट टू एम इज अ ग्रेटर मास ना तो एम विल नॉट बी टू पुल टू एम ओके सो यू मीन टू से इफ आई पुट अ ब्लॉक ऑफ हंड्रेड के जी हियर इफ आई अप्लाई वन न्यूटन इट वॉन्ट मूव इवन दो द फ्लोर इज स्मूथ इट विल Why it will move? But uh, 100 kg is much much bigger than one newton. Move ne karne chahiye according to their logic. Understood, sir. <laughs> Thing is, in order to move in a horizontal direction, the ground is smooth. There is no opposition. So they kya bol rahe na? Don't get confused between these two. Agar m esa hai or 2m is like this setting, then what you said is right. M cannot lift 2m. You can drag 2m. Understood, sir. Dono alag hai. Got this thing, everyone. B and C. Now let's see where this actually shines. Once the number of blocks bump up, this thing really becomes pretty useful. There, we have seven blocks. Gravity is there. I want you to find acceleration of the system and tension in this string. I want you to find the tension between the M four and M five string. There are, now, if you try to draw this, there are seven FBDs. Find acceleration and tension T. Find the tension T in that string, which is connected between four and five. Let's get this. And the net force method will save your time. If you try to do normally, you have to draw seven FPDs. Think, think. I'll give you a minute. Access is still fine. You'll get it now. Tension is a good one. Let's see.
Sí. So you want to take forces along the strings, huh? So this guy is M one G. So I will assume the whole system is going this way. Seven six will go this way. So the main thing is you decide the direction. Right? It doesn't matter if it is wrong. The science will take care of it. So M seven G is pulling down. M six is doing nothing. M five is actually supporting with M five G sine beta. M four is also doing nothing. M three is again supporting with M three G sine beta, sine alpha. M two is doing nothing. There. So what is the acceleration? So acceleration would be M seven G. It is supporting the motion. M five G sine beta is supporting the motion. M three G sine alpha is also supporting the motion. M one G is opposing the motion. Now this is the total force which will be acting on all the seven blocks. So even though M two M four are not contributing anything, they'll still come and take the force. It's like your friend who comes with you to the party doesn't drink anything but eats the food. Clear? One step, got it. Question abhi tak hua nahi. You have to find the tension here. How will you do that? Right. Take a minute. Idea is the same. Whenever you want tension, cut it there. Then what? You'll get two pieces. Take any one piece. Try. You wait a minute. Hmm. So, wherever you want to find tension, cut it there. So, I will take the the right piece. So, this would be tension T. Now, understand the concept is still the same. What is the concept? Net force by total mass is acceleration. So what is the acceleration for this guy? So acceleration for this guy, A is equal to m seven g is supporting, m five g sine beta is supporting. Tension is opposing, so that is the opposite force by total mass, and the mass is m five, m six, and m seven. The system is only three pieces. Take the A from here and substitute. You will get tension from here. Does this make sense? Tell me one thing. Does the equation care whether there is a ten blocks here or there is a single force tension here? Does Max know that whether the string T is pulling or there are four blocks pulling it? It doesn't know. It doesn't care. So this entire system will think M seven G is pulling down, tension is opposing, M five G is supporting. So this total force of these three will be acting on these three blocks. That is the main idea there. The system doesn't care how it looks as long as the equations look the same. This is quite an important thing. That means when someone says, you know, a product is organic or something, as long as it is chemically, it is the same thing. Whether you make it organic or you make it in a chemical process, you can't differentiate. And this was actually a problem people in US faced. In US, right? Uh, people sell this alcohol and everything. So alcohol companies, what happened, right? Normally, the normal process of making alcohol is you take wheat grains and everything, you do fermentation, and then you do alcohol. This is how you sell. But then companies realized you can create alcohol from petrol also. From because see, chemically it is the same thing. Alcohol OH compounds you can get it from you know chemically also you can create them, and that is much cheaper. Think about it logically. Taking grains, fermenting, ये सब nonsense करने से better है. You can chemically create alcohol. That is much cheaper. So this all these alcohol companies, right? They got really scared. यार if this really happens, right? And alcohol prices will fall so much, then we will go into losses and shut down the companies. 
So these people went to the US government. I think they bribed everyone there and they brought a law. They brought a law that all alcohol produced must be natural for drinking purposes. It can't be chemically created. But now the problem became this thing. You can't tell a difference between, let's say, methyl alcohol or anything that you create from a natural process to a chemical process. So how do you differentiate? Do you have any idea how they do that? They actually use radioactivity. They go with a, a radioactive detective meter and they do this. Uh, ever heard about this compound called 14C6? Carbon radio dating. Carbon dating is a word. So, unka logic is this. Whenever you create alcohol from grains or wheat or something, this is freshly produced, right? So when you put a detector, it will actually emit 14,6 carbon. Ka, it have a radioactivity. But if you create, you know, alcohol from chemicals like petrol and all, these things were under the ground for millions of years. So radioactivity would become almost zero. So the alcohol which is created chemically doesn't have any radioactivity. The alcohol which is created from grains and stuff will have radioactivity. That is how they differentiate it. Technically, there's no difference. So in India, that is also one of the problems. So certain chemical factories, right? They produce alcohol for industrial purposes. So while these tankers are going, some people, right, steal alcohol from that and they used to sell it off. Because it is cheaper. And then what the government did, they said, yeah, the chemicals, you know, or the alcohol which you're selling for industries, you should mix methyl alcohol. Normally, the alcohol which we use is ethyl alcohol. They mixed uh, methyl alcohol, that is CH3 something, I don't remember the compound, which is poisonous. But industries may, you can use it, there's no problem. Then what happened, people without knowing this, they started stealing that alcohol and started drinking and people became blind and died. Literally, 30, 40 uh, denatured alcohol and stuff. So people literally die. So the alcohol, which they use in industries and all, they mix actually the poison. This thing happened, you know, not alcohol. It happened with urea. You know urea, right? Which we actually use for fertilizers. So what Indian government does for farmers, right? They give urea on subsidy. Matlab, if the packet ka cost is 1,000 rupees, a farmer gets it for only for 200 rupees. They get a huge subsidy on urea. Now, what this chemical factory started doing, you know, for ammonia and all, you can take urea and break it down to create ammonia. Now, if the factory goes to a company and buys it, they get for 1,000 rupees. These factories, what they used to do, they used to go to the farmer and say, you get urea on subsidy, right? You buy it for 200 rupees. I'll pay you 300 rupees. So you get 100 rupees profit. Plus, for me, it is a profit because I can use that. They started cheating the government. <laughs> They started buying huge amount of urea like that. I think government lost almost 15, 20,000 crores. And then the government said, no, this has to stop. Then they said, we will still give subsidy to, you know, urea to, you know, this thing, what you call farmers. But this time, the urea which we give to the farmers must be coated with neem oil. Neem oil. Now, neem is good for fertilizers, right? It stops the pests and all. But if you try to make urea out of this, your compound will get messed up. So we are still giving urea, you know, that thing to the farmers on subsidy, but we mixed up, you know, neem oil with that. Now, a farmer can't come and say, give me pure urea. He'll say, for what? You want it for fertilizers, right? There I'm giving you, including neem oil, it is much better. What is your complaint? So there, so things, right? Certain things, they look exactly the same. You can't differentiate. It's very difficult. Not only in Max, even in real life. Let's see one more. But like I said, that method which I taught you right now works only when they have same acceleration. Every time you're not so lucky to have the same acceleration. Let's see how a situation like this. Let's say this is M. This is 4M. Find the acceleration of the blocks. Now, how do you know you should not use that method? Just have a look at this problem. When you look at this problem, are you not getting a feeling that both will not have same acceleration? Now, I don't know what is the acceleration, but it's not feeling are in area, they don't go with same acceleration. That's it. If you got that feeling, you can't use that method. If they don't go with the same magnitude of acceleration, you can't use that net force method. Let's get this. But remember, your standard process still works. Choose a system, draw an FBD, write accelerations, forces, and solves.
Let's go. Give it a try. Accident didn't, yeah, you have to prove it is different. Hmm. Maybe and that is wrong. Anch, that is wrong. Purvaja, you're right, I guess. Uh, Hanna, you're also right. Yeah, Purvaja and Hanna, both of you got the same answer. Let's see. The process is always the same. Step one, choose a system, draw the FBD. So, let this be tension. Let this be MG. Let this be acceleration, A1. This would be tension, tension. So two strings are there. So this will be 2T. This would be 4MG. Let this be acceleration A2. Assign accelerations and find relation between them. String constraints. Since there are no angles here, I can use for acceleration. So T and A1 both are in the same direction. Minus 2T into A2 is equal to 0. So A1 is equal to 2A2. This is your constraint equation. Then force equations. For the left block, T minus mg is equal to mass into acceleration A1. This guy, 2T minus 4mg. Is equal to 4m into minus A2, up positive or down negative. Keep the fine convention simple. So T is equal to mg plus ma1. A1 is A2. So ma2, take this and dump it in this. That would be 2mg plus 4ma2. Minus 4mg is equal to minus 4ma2. 8ma2 is equal to 2mg. M cancels. A2 is equal to g by 4 and a1 would be g by 2. Check. Force equation, constraints, equation, and so nothing there. Idea is always the same. Next one. Any doubts on this? Great. Next one. Find accession of the blocks. Let's do one thing. Find accession of 3M block. We'll get the rest. Okay. 
and it access from the blocks. Let's say this. Remember, the process is the same. Try, try, I'll give you two, three minutes. Be careful. The first mistake generally people do, you can't treat those two as one system. Because the two M and M are moving, this cannot be treated. You can treat that as a system, one block, but it is not mass 3M. This cannot be treated. as a block of mass 3M. Since 2M and uh, M are different acceleration. So you can remember this. Two blocks have same acceleration, magnitude and direction. Then you can treat them as one block. See, you can take anything as a system, but if you want to say the total mass is 3M, then they should have same acceleration. If two blocks have same acceleration, they can be treated as one block. The first thing that you can't do. So you have to go back to the regular way. Brute force solving. Step one, take your FBD and draw the forces, assign accelerations and find relation between them. Mg, two Mg, so that is T and T, so this is true T, this is true T, this is three Mg. Accelerations, let this go with A1, let this go with A2, let this also go up with A3. I know, all can't go up, something will be negative. The signs will take care of it. Up tension, matlo, like who is going up, who is coming down. You can take A3 down if you want. Kuch problem nahi hai. But keep it simple. Why do you get confused? Then string constraints. Since there are no angles, I can directly use this T into A1, T into A2, plus 2T into A3 equal to 0. So A1 plus A2 plus 2A3 is 0. Some of them are negative. This is your equation 1. Now, when you write for the block, T minus Mg is equal to Ma1. So I get A1 is equal to T by M minus G. T minus 2 Mg is equal to 2 Ma2. 
a2 will be t by 2m minus g. 2t minus 3mg is equal to 3m a3. A3 will be T by 3M minus G. Take these three guys and put it in equation one because I want to eliminate T there. You end up with T by M commonly are 1 plus half plus 2 by 3 minus 3G is equal to 0. Hmm, this is 3 by 2, 2. So T will be 24MG by 17. That's your tension. What do you want to find? You want to find A1? Substitute there. 24 mg by 17 minus g. Just give me a minute. Mm. Something is roaming in the house. Right, we are ghost. Let's see. So substitute here. This thing is twenty-four G by seventeen minus G seven G by seventeen. So meaning you just take T from here, put it in this, put it in this, and put it in this. You'll get the answer. And just take T from here, put it in this. There. So you will get A1 will be 7G by 17. A2 would be 12 minus 7 minus 5G by 17 as expected. A3 would be minus G by 17. There, they're actually going down. We thought up. Science will take care of it. Have a look at this. This is brute force. This is a better way to do this. Have a look at this. See, the standard method, you should be quite comfortable because the shortcuts I'm teaching you, right? They're useful, but suddenly something changes in the question. You won't be able to use the shortcuts every time. Like the net force method, which I taught you, you can't use it if something is changing. So let's see how to use this. We call this thing fully equivalent method. The idea here is when you took this block M1 from the Ratwood machine and this is M2. Here the tension was T, here the tension was T, and here the tension was 2T. So we know tension is nothing but 2M1, M2 by N1 plus M2, G. That means if I want to replace this block fully thing with a single block, which is M equivalent, the tension will be 2T. Now tell me one thing, as long as the tension is same, does the ceiling care whether it's a pulley or a block? The ceiling doesn't care whether you're keeping a pulley or you're keeping a block. You keep anything. Ceiling will say a box tension the same. So 2 times T would be M equivalent into G substitute here. You end up with M equivalent will be 4 M1 M2 by M1 plus M2. Or 4 by M equivalent is... 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. There you can simply replace that entire pulley with this formula. You can replace it with a single block, but it is not m1 plus m2. This is valid even if the pulley is accelerating. Now let me show how this works for the previous example. Are you getting the logic here? Because the tension in the ceiling, as long as it is 2T, it doesn't care what you keep it below. So in our problem, which we did just now, so 
So we want to replace this with M equivalent, which is four into M1, M2 by M1 plus M2. So this is actually equal to eight M by three. So you can replace this whole thing with a block. This is three M and then this is eight M by three. And then three MG. This is 8mg by 3. Then I can use net force method. That will become a simply an outward emission, two block problem. So this acceleration would be 3mg minus 8mg by 3 by 3m plus 8m by 3. G by 17. Check. That was the same answer we got here for A3 block. G by 17 downward. Here also G by 17 downward. You can even find the tension here, TNT. Tension will be 2 into 3m, 8m by 3g by 3m plus 8m by 3. So once you got the tension here, that is actually this tension T here, meaning this string my tension is T by 2 and this string my tension is T by 2. So if you want to find the acceleration of these blocks, you can find them. T by 2 minus mg is equal to ma1. T by 2 minus 2mg is equal to 2ma2. Then you can find this equation Is this clear, everyone? This is your pulley equivalent. But if you see, for this question, it doesn't work, right? There is a pulley and two blocks should be there. It doesn't work for this. So blindly, you can't use it everywhere. So be careful. Clear? Now, based on this, I'll give you a question. Give it a try and come. There are infinite police. Find the acceleration of this block. The pulleys just don't stop. All are mass m. The pulley just right side just keeps going to infinity. So to give it a try, I'll give you a few hints. Try, you know, this problem, right? Inspiration for this problem was this. In max, there's a question like this. Y is equal to root over x plus root over x plus root over x plus so on till infinity. Yeah, they seen this thing. So this is how we do. We say if you remove one branch, it is still an infinity. So we say root over x plus y. And then we solve this. So this problem was the inspiration for this infinite pulley. So somehow we have to use that logic and this pulley equivalent and solve. So think about this. So next class when we meet, first thing in the class, we'll discuss this. So you saw today, right? Things started moving. But did you notice one thing? Did I teach you anything other than that four or five steps which I taught you in the beginning? Every problem you can do with that four or five steps. Ha, huh. main thing, you should know how to do constraints, you should know how to do FBDs. And that's the reason we spent almost four classes on the basics only. I wanted to make sure your FBDs are clear, your constraints are clear. Once those are clear, the problems will just go on. I can give you any complex problem, you can still handle it. Right, we have almost touched 39 questions. So please make sure to go through all these questions. Next class, when I catch up, we will do even more little higher ones. We should wrap up the chapter another two to three classes max. Once we reach, meaning we got that thing. Once you got FBDs and constraints, it goes pretty fast. You will do even more little higher level problems. This is a good one. So do give it a try. Okay. So that's the last one for that day. So with that, we'll wrap up.
and uh, let's see any